the election for a new president and secretary of the Belize National Teachers Union, the other positions having been filled without contest, should have proceeded beginning around 11.30 this morning. But beginning from just after 9, the BNTU Council of Management was meeting to determine the way forward because of persistent reports of political interference. At its end, shortly before noon, outgoing President Luke Palacio announced the decision to the restless gathering. Brothers and sisters, we will be asking of you again your cooperation. We will need to take a vote. We will need to take a vote. You determine by your vote after this whether or not the election should proceed. We will be again, but we are asking, the cooperation we are asking is that each branch will meet with their branch president. The branch president has a list of members, and only those members who are eligible to vote today will vote to determine if the election proceeds. Among other things, Palacio referenced the particularly nasty mudslinging on various local media in the run-up to the election. But he insisted that none of it should have any effect on the candidates. After the branches met, General Secretary Keisha Young Flowers announced the result. We have a total count of 630 financial members here today. We have a total of 85 who voted no for not having the election today and 544 to proceed and there was only one abstention we will take a 15 minute break to set up we need to set up the election stations just allow us to do what we need to do 15 minutes. The candidates for secretary, incumbent Vice President Adelaida Guerra and challenger Ruth Schumann are both Corozal natives, but Guerra lives and works in Belize City. They both promised to do a good job as described to the union. But the real intrigue surrounded the race for president between three candidates from different backgrounds with different levels of experience and recognition, but all passionate for their union and its future. You have known me for many, many, many years. I have been on my executive for 20 consecutive years serving on the Belize branch. I have been tried and I have been tested. But you can see today that I am standing. Standing tall and I have nowhere to go from here but taller. So it doesn't matter what they do. I will always be a member of BNTU and I will always work for you. The members of BNTU, whether I'm in my branch or I'm the president. As an independent sovereign country, we know that what happens and what does not happen. We must now choose a new leader. A leader who shall fulfill all our membership's expectations. A leader who can uphold the title of teacher. And most importantly, the interests of BNTU as a union wholeheartedly. My responsibility at your first AGMs as the president is to give you some time for me to talk to me. Tell me, what more can a union do for you? And what can you do as members of this union to engage to get it done? Because it's not only the leadership, it's you. You make BNTU what it is. I am the kind of leader who will stand here and tell you that I will be nothing without you, the soldiers of this mighty BNTU. At 2 p.m., it was time to vote. Aaron Humes reporting for News 5.